Hey, what's up guys? Andy here at TPF. We have a have another workout for you today. The training session today is gonna to be a little more upper body centric. We're gonna build some muscle. That's gonna be the whole purpose for today's workout. Okay, we got some tricep push-ups, tall kneeling, presses overhead, pullovers, rows, and finishing up with plate curls. All right, I'm just gonna jump right in. You guys can just follow along, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, okay? 30 seconds of work. If you have to watch it one time to get the movements down and then start over, please do. I'm just gonna do a couple rounds with you. You're free to double it up, whatever you need to do for today. All right, we're gonna start off with tricep push-ups. Tricep push-ups, okay? 30 seconds, and begin. So down onto the ground here, just lay on this one. You're on your knees, pushing through your palms, bringing your elbows up off the ground. The key is to keep your hips, don't let your butt go up in the air, all right? Keep the hips down. You want a straight line from your knees to your shoulder. You're driving into your palms, driving into your palms. You're gonna feel most of this in your abdominals and right behind your arms. Boom. Now, tall kneeling. Tall kneeling, just means on both knees. So if you have a mat or something you throw on your knees, it's cool if you don't, carpet, something. I'm just taking advantage of this because I have it. So you're gonna sit on both knees, grab some dumbbells or kettlebells, whatever you got. Brace your abdominals and press. Inhale, press. Boom, keep a nice brace and press through it. Inhale at the bottom, exhale. Staying tight here. Nice and tight is key. Squeeze, squeeze those glutes, okay? Breathing, focus on your breathing. Nice work. Boom. And now, now, we got pullovers. Pullovers, bro. Use whatever you got here. Use a little dumb, uh, kettlebell. Back on your back, press up over your head, the kettlebell, lower it with straight arms behind you, and pull it back over your chest. Back, and bring it straight up. Take a big breath as you go back. Exhale as you pull through. Keep those arms straight as you can. We're focused on pulling with the lats here. That's through the back. Boom. Boom. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. Boom. Hook a strap to the little man here. I use him for my weights. <laughs> no turkey. All right, now we're going to a single arm row. If you have a bench, put your knee and your hand on it. We're going to use that to brace. And then, boom. Focus on driving your elbow toward your hip, okay? Elbow to your hip, really stretch at the bottom. Pull, stretch, pull. Good breathing as you go along. Nice work, really focus on not letting your torso rotate. So we don't wanna be here. Flat back as you go as well. Keep your chest puffed up. And last, we're gonna do plate curls, okay? You will not get a full range of motion with these, and that keeps a lot of tension right on the biceps. Okay, so you're gonna grab a plate, whatever you got, and curl up. So you notice I can't get all the way up or down. So my biceps are in a constant state of tension. Squeeze your glutes, protect that back, boom, and you can just go Crank them here. That constant tension is gonna make whatever weight you got feel a lot heavier. Good breathing, final 10 seconds. Brace hard. Easy work, guys. Easy work. Boom! That's one. And that is one. Take a rest. Take a rest, bro. Take a rest. 
always really guys cannot stress enough focus on your form the way you're moving you're not just trying to get through this to get super fatigued all right you're not that's not going to give you the results you want focus on your control your form pushing yourself pushing yourself from a, a load standpoint but not from a technical breakdown you don't want to break down your form if your form falls apart you're not it's not helping you okay keep your form on point that's key that is key all right so we're starting it again back to tricep push-ups tricep push-ups all right here we go down easy way to start these is to go into a top and go into a plank on your elbows on your toes and then lower, lower straight down to your knees touch and you have your position all right 30 seconds and begin palms drive in the palms boom elbows touch every time easy easy boom boom we'll get kicked in the head by a little dude here raise those abs tight under 10 seconds boom big inhale at the bottom exhale nice work awesome awesome all right now tall kneeling overhead press tall kneeling is just on the knees sitting on both knees squeezing the glutes exhale exhale keep braced tight as you can stay big breath in and exhale through it the fight here is a lot of core strength your body wants to fall all over the, all over the place so you have to brace very hard nice and easy here boom pullovers pull overs you're gonna flat on your back flat on your back all right grab that dumbbell kettlebell whatever you got press it up lower it behind you powerfully pull those arms up pull it back boom squeeze the handles really hard squeeze them hard boom the goal here is just to keep a consistent pace okay so pick a weight that allows you to do that keep those arms straight you'll feel this underneath the armpits Whew. nice and after you've done that it will make your single arm rows feel harder and yes that's normal that's kind of the purpose of this all right here we go remember as you pull elbow back stretch at the bottom elbow back stretch back boom breathing as you go right bump breathe easy stuff good good work folks also keeping that shoulder down don't let it shrug up okay and last plate plate curls plate curls if you have bumpers that's gonna be the added benefit because they're thicker puts a lot more strain on your grip too and begin boom boom you can hinge your hips back slightly squeeze your butt feels a little better on the back boom boom and just rock them just don't hit yourself in the face please easy easy hang on buddy boom 10 seconds 10 seconds all right three two boom oh that's good stuff that was good stuff. 
So, if you're following along at home, make a minute now. You can repeat this a couple times, all right? You can repeat it a couple times. Again, the key is not just to be exhausted. It's not how you get better. It's not how you get better. The key is to notice that you're getting stronger. The key is to notice that you're moving better, that you're moving with less pain, all right? That's the key. Three things on my board here. Three things that are very poor indicators of a good workout is sweat, fatigue, and soreness, okay? I'm not saying those things won't happen, but if that's how you guide your workouts and judge them, I mean, just do a bunch of burpees and you'll be good. All right, run, run as fast as you can around the block. Doesn't mean you're getting better. It just means you're getting really tired. Okay, so always remember that. Focus on these movements. Focus on the patterns. Your body's gonna move better. Your joints are gonna feel better and be healthier. All right. <sighs> Boom. Couple more rounds and you're good to go. All right. Have an awesome weekend. All you guys.